what's up? Today I'm so excited. We're going to be going into how to declutter and organize your digital life. As of two days ago, I am officially a full-time content creator. I still can't believe it and I'm still letting it sink in because this has been a goal of mine for so long. But let me tell you that balancing a nine to five job where you're a digital marketing manager, so a lot of it is creative work and then having a passion for YouTube and working on that almost full-time as well, it can wreak havoc on your files and your organizational system and I really 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 need to organize and clean this stuff out so I thought it would be really fun to do a get organized with me kind of video and show you exactly how I clean out and organize my phone my photos my notes and my computer and my external hard drive files and assets that I have for YouTube so that I can stay productive and efficient and focus on what's important instead of getting lost in the sea of unnamed files that are overtaking my computer right now with that being said feel welcome to subscribe down below if you enjoy videos on intentional living and lifestyle design and feel welcome to find me on instagram as well i really love connecting with you guys there and i always appreciate your dms and now let's get into how to declutter and organize your digital life so that it's less distracting and stressful and more purposeful So we're gonna start out with our phones and we're gonna go into our photos. For me, I have almost 6,000 photos in here and I know I don't need that many. I have good intentions when I'm taking the screenshots or photos. I always tell myself I'm gonna go through them and delete the ones that I don't like, but then I never end up actually taking the time to do that. So I'm gonna go through as many photos as I can. I don't think I'm gonna get through all 6,000 photos in this one session. So what I'm gonna do is plan out and schedule in time throughout the week to take about like 10 10 minutes, 20 minutes to go through a pile of photos and just organize them. My goal is for every single photo to have some sort of home. So I'm gonna go all the way back <laughs> and then I'm gonna go through one by one and add it to an album. I'm going to set a timer just uh, for 20 minutes to go through this. Just a quick side note that I'm realizing as I'm going through my photos is some of them actually bring up not too many great feelings. I was going through some personal struggles with some of these photos. Um, I'm gonna hold on to a couple just because it reminds me of the progress that I've made personally and the rest I'm going to let go of. It's so weird looking back at these photos and having them bring up these emotions. It's showing me what I need to work on and I think that's such a beautiful thing too for you if you go through your photos and you notice there are some that just make you feel off, make you feel like you're back in a place where you're struggling, that's a sign that you have some things to work through, some limiting beliefs, some stressors. Okay, so the 20 minutes is up. I am stopping and I am actually going to take a screenshot of where I left off. This was pretty interesting because I haven't gone through my photos one by one. Usually I just select a whole bunch and hope that I'm not deleting anything important. So before we move on to the next area of decluttering, we are going to delete the recently deleted album on our phone. 800 items, wow. <laughs> Next up, I use the notes section in my phone to just jot down any random notes or thoughts or ideas that I have during the day. This can get pretty messy. I definitely encourage you if you're somebody that always forgets some ideas that pop into your head, definitely start using the notes app on your phone. So these are the folders I currently have. I have just my notes section, becoming my own bestie, and then I have business stuff. This is more so for YouTube, and then I have bucket list for get me nots. I just wanted a clever name to come up with a folder option for different memories or milestones that I have. Journal, this one I really need to go through, the minimalism and eco-conscious folder. And I have one that's private, that's just very private information. Then I have rest recipes as well. <laughs> Thank you.
Now that we're done organizing and decluttering our notes folders, we are gonna go into recently deleted just like we did for the photos and we're just going to clear this sucker out. My apps are already organized from the last time. What I wanna talk about really quick is how I organized my apps to be as useful as possible so I don't get distracted as easily when I'm on my phone. Basically, I created a theme for each page and the first page is focused on business and productivity kind of apps, things that keep me on track for reaching my goals. So I have YouTube here because this is something that I'm really passionate about and it's something that I'm constantly working on. And then I have photos for Instagram, so photo editing apps, my photos. Canva, which is the design app that I use for graphic design. And then I have clock for, you know, my bedtime, waking up, setting alarms. I have Spotify for inspiring me with music music, lifting up my mood, giving me inspirational podcasts. I have Gmail here for my email, my notes section, my to-do lists, and my planner. On the second page, I have my social media kind of apps, things that are time wasters. The third page are more like resources, tools. If you want to learn more about how I set up my apps, you can check this video out here that I created a couple of months ago. Now we're gonna go into our computers. Starting out with Canva. This is an amazing platform for creatives. My goal is to have Canva organized to the point where I have templates already created where I can just plug and play, reduce the friction to keep myself productive. It also will save me time with editing. If you are interested in starting a YouTube channel yourself, I definitely recommend creating assets and templates that are plug and play ready for you to use that you use often. So like like Instagram stories templates. This is a really great way to keep your brand consistent across all platforms and to optimize your time as a creative. First, I'm gonna go through all of my designs. I'm gonna delete ones that I no longer need and I'm going to go through and rename the ones that I actually want to keep because some of these are named automatically based on a template that I chose before, but then I never made it the proper name. into our bookmarks next. This is something that got out of hand. I had folders set up, but I still ended up bookmarking pages that I thought were interesting and then not having a place for them. I do encourage you to maybe have one folder that is for random articles that you find. That could be really useful. But for your bookmarks bar, make sure you only have folders that are relevant to what you usually go to and what you usually work on to help cut out the distraction if you are trying to be more productive. I'm creating a new folder called interesting pages just for those random times where I find something interesting like an article or some sort of business tool that I want to learn more about. I'm loving this so far. I think this is great. All I need to do is organize it in the order that I use it most and add in any new documents that might not be here right now that I use currently. Okay, bookmarks bar is done. Next, we're going to go into the content calendar. I'm really excited to organize this and get it set up so that I can plan out my videos a month in advance. So I have April planned out completely, which is amazing. I'm so glad that that's done. Next up, we're gonna go through our desktop screenshots that just magically appear and pile up. Hey 
Hey guys, <laughs> it's day two of this get organized with me video and I didn't get through everything that I wanted to yesterday like I assumed that I would be able to, but that's okay. It's really important for us to take our time, give ourselves enough time to set ourselves up for success create our foundation so that we can hopefully prevent or at least limit the amount that we could accumulate if we do end up falling back into old habits with our devices. Yesterday we finished off going through our entire computer, going through our folders, going through everything that we add to our desktop. Next up we are going to just clear out the trash can, get rid of any old files, and then move on to external hard drives. <laughs> like this type of style of video where we were hands-on and I got to show you exactly how I declutter and organize my digital life while sharing some tips too that I felt would be useful. Again, let me know if you get just as excited as I do when it comes to decluttering and organizing. I just find it so fun and I truly believe that what we went through today is going to help me just be more efficient and more productive with my work. I love knowing that I set the foundation for myself for keeping myself organized and preventing myself from accumulating a whole bunch of different files that are unnamed. I like that I now have a filing system in place. Feel welcome to subscribe down below if you enjoy videos on intentional living and lifestyle design. Be sure to also hit the like button down below if you enjoyed this video. It really means a ton to me. I seriously appreciate it. And I can't wait to see you guys in next week's video. Bye. <laughs>